Okay, today's video is about adding a few operations to binary heaps to make them more useful for priority queues. It definitely assumes that you've already watched the intro to heap video. First, a couple of obvious points. I've been talking about max heaps, but we could of course make a min heap instead. I mention this because some systems use low priorities to represent items of high importance. I'm just going to stick to max heap from here forward and assume that the highest priority means the most important. Next, I mentioned that even though I'm just showing you key values in my heaps, of course heaps can be used to store complex objects, but those objects will have key values. In the underlying structure, you might have either an array of the complex objects or an array of object references where you just swap references within your heap. Details of your heap implementation might change based on which of those two you choose, but the abstract heap ideas don't change. Okay, in heap sort, we built and used a heap a bunch of times, not doing anything else until we're done with it. But like most other data structures, you could build a heap, insert some more stuff into it, get the max, delete the max, insert some more stuff into it, and use it as needed over time. This makes it a nice data structure to implement priority queues, where we expect that we have a list of jobs to do, new jobs can arrive at any moment, and as resources become free, you might choose to do the job of highest priority that's waiting. We already have the basic operations needed for this. Insert, find max, and delete max. These are all nice, natural looking operations. But what about other operations? Change key and delete would be nice, where we either change the priority of something in the queue, or delete an item which might not be the maximum one from the queue. These still seem like pretty basic operations. For change key, we're going to jump to the correct index, and if the key decreases, the node might move down in the heap, like our heapify operation. Or if the value increases, we might have to let the node bubble up through the heap, like we did for insertion. Similarly, to delete an arbitrary node instead of just the max node, we go to that node, exchange it for the last node, and then it might either move up, like in this first example, or move down, like in the second, depending on if the last leaf had a bigger or smaller key than the node being deleted. Both of these operations look easy, but in both cases they're sort of unnatural, like this simile. Notice, both operations need the index of the node being changed or deleted, or if you're using an explicit heap representation instead of the implicit array one, you'd need a reference to the node itself. That's kind of a black box no-no. Generally, you have to keep your hands off my nodes. But here, if you have a bunch of jobs of varying priorities, maybe we end up adding a field in the job for it to keep track of its heap index. And then the heap code would have to update the index in the job when the job moves around. And now our job code and heap code are kind of dependent on each other. Why would a job have a field for the heap index or a heap node reference? The job having a priority seems natural, but not for the job to know its heap location. That would mean the writer of the job code needs to know that the job will be stored in a binary heap sometime and make room for that information even though some other priority queued implementations might not need that field. Well, your abstraction's kind of hosed here. If you want to change the priority of a job without knowing its index, a heap doesn't give you any efficient way to find that job. You could use a linear search, but we want these operations to be efficient. In the worst case, we want them to take time proportional to the height of the heap, which is logarithmic in the size of the heap. Following a linear search with a logarithmic rest of the operation doesn't make that operation efficient, kills your efficiency. 
So you have a choice. You could use something other than a binary heap for your priority queue. You could go without these extra two operations. You could have the two operations, but have them be super slow, or you can break your black box abstraction. You want to use a heap with those extra operations? If keeping the abstraction makes some operations take 20,000 times longer, you probably want to forget about your abstraction. One last note. If you're using a heap for a priority queue, you don't have any guarantees about the order that elements will come out if the elements have equal priority. There won't be any first in, first out guarantees or anything like that. So the simplicity of a heap is great, but it only gives you sort of its natural operations unless you want to break your abstraction. That's all for now. I'm late for my ventriloquism class.